Hi, I'm Alex, and today I want to take you through a short demonstration of how we can go back a stage in a business process flow using Power Automate. So here we have a simple business process flow where the first stage is to assess the ticket and assign the owner. And the next stage is for the owner to confirm if tasks have been completed. We want to give the owner the option to reject the ticket if it's been assigned to the wrong person. So we'll go to the solution and into the cloud flows, new automation, cloud flow, and we want instant because we want to create a button for them to press and we'll call it reject complaint. And the trigger that we want to use is when a flow step is run from a business process flow. So the first step we want to call rejected, add an input and we want a text input that gives them the ability to add a rejection reason. Next step. Now, the next step that we want to use is get a row by ID because we're going to use the dynamic content from the first step to find the complaint. If it searches. Right, get a row by ID and call that one get complaint row. And we're looking towards the complaints table. And in the row ID, we will select BPF flow stage table row ID. New step. The next one is going to be a list rows where we identify the business process flow. So just call this one get BPF. And the table that we want to use is the complaints process. And in the columns, we're going to type in business process flow instance ID and then a comma underscore process ID underscore value. And filter rows, we will add an OData statement that is underscore BPF underscore your unique prefix and then complaints ID underscore value equals and we'll use the dynamic content from the previous step and we'll add complaints there. So the next step is going to be another list rows. Here we go. And we'll call this one uh, get process stage because we want to identify what stage of the business process we're currently at. Get process stage and we'll use a table called process stages. In select columns, we want the process stage ID. In filter rows, we're going to add underscore process ID underscore value equals. And now we're going to add an expression to get the output from the stage get BPF. So in here, we want to type first outputs and then get BPF. And then after this column, one question mark, square brackets, and body value. And then after everything there, another question mark. And we're looking for underscore process ID underscore value. And we can add that and then a space and say and stage name equals and whatever the stage is that you're looking for in our case it is called assess and then new step and this is going to be our last step where we change the stage 
the, change the stage of the business process flow. So we want to update a row. This one, update BPF stage. And again, we want the complaints process as that is our business process flow table. For the row ID, we want to add a function and it's very similar to what we added previously. So first outputs and we're looking for get BPF. And again, we've got the question mark, square brackets, body, value. And at the end, a question mark, square brackets again, and we're looking for business process flow instance ID. And close that off. And then just add the advanced options here and we want to add an active stage into this lookup column so because it's a lookup we've got to set it with the plural there and open brackets and again we're going to have the similar expression first outputs this time we're looking at the stage called get process stage question mark body value and at the end another question mark square brackets and we're looking at process stage ID and add that and close your brackets Okay, save the flow there. And we want to update the, the business process flow as well. Um, this will this will make sure that the flow goes back a stage, but we want to ensure that any workflows that we've put in place work as well. So I usually add workflows that change the status. So I've got a workflow here from assess that will change the status to in progress because we're completing the tasks. And here I had a workflow that changed it from in progress to discuss with customer, but I've changed that to accommodate for our new flow. So now I've got an if statement. If the tasks are not complete, then we'll change the status back to assess because we're going back a stage. If the tasks are completed, then we'll move forward and we'll go to discuss with customer on the stage exit. So that's already been set up. The other thing that we need to do, because it's an instant flow, we will need to add a component and add this flow step here. So add a flow step. Let's just pick the flow and see what happens. Yeah, so I don't think that red alert was for anything. Um, so we've selected re reject complaint there, and this title will be what they see. So reject complaint, and then apply. And we will update our business process flow here, and then we'll just go and test it. Okay, so let's refresh what we see here and let's see if our buttons come up no so I'll give it another refresh okay so now we've got the button reject complaint so let's have a look at the process so at this stage we add an owner and then we click next and with the workflow in, pl in place our status should change Just took a couple of refreshes there and now we've got in progress now we want to reject the complaint so we'll press run flow and it'll ask for our reason and in your flow as i said previously you'll want to set up an email alert that sends that to someone 
or a column where it gets recorded. So add your rejection reason here. I don't fancy it. Send that on, run the flow. And now we've gone back to the beginning, but for some reason this is being a little bit slow to change status. So let's try again. There we go. So that's back to assess. It's back at the first stage and it's ready to be assigned again. OK, so that's it. We've successfully gone back a stage using Power Automate. I hope that's been useful. I know it was something that I was stuck on for a while. Uh, so subscribe for more Power Platform tips. Thank you.